Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. In this video, we're just going to have a look at the Abyss level 100, um, and we're just going to see if we can go ahead and beat it. Now, uh, this is the team setup that I've been running previously. Let's go ahead and have a look at the clear records. So yeah, Dahlia, Lamia, um, Halisa, Cleo, and Orphelia do seem to be the one. We can see a, uh, a, random, a random Mulan uh, in there as well. Um, and I can see, yeah, so a team of Elmer, so um, Valiant is here for Scorn. Um, team of Ethrials, another team of Valiant is uh, getting through. Um, and it looks like the reason for that, so if we just jump back in, let's so click on Start. Um, loses one HP when using basic attacks uh, and is immune to all damage, so effectively you just need a tank the tankiest team that you've got to out survive these units uh, and to do as much damage to backline enemies as possible now the first um first attack uh, attacks two random enemies four times dealing 15 damage i think that's supposed to be uh, potentially 150 uh, percent attacks all enemies reducing attack by 50 percent for three rounds and dispels all enemies buffs so you get all of your buffs dispelled uh, attacks all enemies four times uh, dealing 100 percent damage per uh, time now uh, damage received won't exceed five percent so as long as you are doing heavy hits uh, this should only take you uh, 50 attacks allegedly uh, and sorry 50 attacks 20 attacks uh, if you do the maths on that, uh, 5 times 20 is 100%, so uh, as long as you're doing um, more than 5% per attack, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, increase the resistance by 100% and crit resistance by 100%, so uh, quite a lot of damage reduction there. After receiving 5 instances of active skill damage, counters with a basic attack, leech is temporarily increased by 100% during the counterattack. So, uh, a lot of different things involved, but really, um, the main priority uh, for this would be to do as much backline damage as possible. So we'll jump in, um, we'll go for Dahlia in the front, Lamia here, potentially um, swap in Lamia here uh, for Cleopatra. Uh, and the reason that you would swap it around uh, is because Lamia here will do direct damage to the Phantom Queen. You can also look at having Halissa in there as well. But this time we'll go with uh, Lamia, we'll quick deploy, uh, getting the 19 out of 20 that we do have, um, and then we can jump in. I think this will be absolutely fine for us to go. Relics are chest, whirling blade, and demon blade whip. This chest can be replaced with uh, the hand, or the, uh, sort of the phantom hand, uh, the purple um, legendary. So as you can see here, um, we do respond and we're going to start building that attack up as much as we possibly can. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, misses for Lamia here. Uh, it is what it is, you know. Uh, Lamia is, she's very similar to Narwi in the fact that she needs to proc. Um, or she needs, uh, she, she's got a chance to proc. Uh, and it's because of the sanctuary that's been applied. Now, if, say, for example, uh, Sanctuary, um, if, say, for example, uh, it is the, the Sanctuary or the Blessing that is applied, you can potentially get up to five or six hits. So the Sanctuary is applied there. So as you can see, we could get five or six hits of that um, within one, uh, one round because the four of these little minions will attack and also the Blood Hell Queen will attack as well. So potentially five to six uh, hits from Lamia here uh, with her ultimate in one round is going to be very powerful. Now as you can see, we got the Sanctuary hit here. We get double Sanctuary hit, so very powerful indeed. Attack is building up and then it will reset next round. Uh, and that's the, the effect of Lamia's exclusive runes is that build up of attack. Again, reds is probably better. Um... Unfortunately, we're not triggering Sanctuary here. Potentially taking out the Whirling Blade and adding in um, the Shield uh, Relic would be much better. Uh, and the reason for that uh, is because it does give her a chance to trigger Sanctuary multiple times. As you can see here, doing direct damage. So, like I said, doing uh, triggering Sanctuary multiple times. Um, it 
the shield does increase sanctuary and blessing um, triggers as well so it can be uh, a very useful tool uh, in this dooms team especially with Orphelia and also with uh, Lamia as well now we, we get a triple activation we get all that reflect damage there as well fortunately Cleo here able to um, protect us with this holy shield and again, we get the miss. That's unfortunate. As you can see, these minions are not dead, but they would be, I suspect, by about round 15. Um, so really, it's, it's more along the lines of getting as many hits on this back row as possible. Because even even if we were to do absolutely massive damage with Halissa, we would also um, not be able to do any more damage uh, than that. So as you can see, we did uh, double that damage. We did the 5% every single time. Lamia MVP, of course. Very good unit to invest in, especially for boss missions. She's very good. Now we do have three days left, unfortunately, um, before the start or before the uh, nightmare opens up. Uh, so go ahead and we'll claim our ticket. Now this ticket here um, is a very good ticket. I I know that it's a lot of old heroes, but a lot of people are sort of waiting on these heroes. They don't want to invest in them anymore because they're quite old. So getting one for free once you finish. Um, the nightmare difficulty is uh, very very powerful indeed so let's go ahead and have a look at who we need to choose so we've got Talinas, Halios, Talos, Mastema, Arkdina and Makaria as well so let's just have a quick check at the box here and we'll see who we should be prioritizing so as you can see uh, Talinas at 13 stars but 0 out of 3 um, we do have uh, I don't believe Gwyn was included on that, so let's skip to the next. So it's Makaria, she's one of three, might be a suitable choice. Um, Talos here, I'm two of three, so uh, an Arkdina, I'm two of three. So I use Talos more, but let's go ahead and have a look at Halios. He's at um, 12 stars as well, so I don't think... He's just Mastema. Now, I could get Mastema, I think, actually... Is Master included on that ticket? I believe so. Yeah, so I think instead of going to level up Talos to 13 stars, I'm going to level up Mastema here. Uh, or uh, Arkdina to 13 stars, I'm going to level up Mastema to 12 stars. So let's go ahead, get his ticket. Go into our heroes, go to Mastema, and we want to level him up to 12 stars. As you can see, got a lot of food. Um, so we'll level him up to 12 stars and he increases uh, crit rate, additionally increases attack by 1% as well. So he's going to be doing a bit more damage. But what we want it for really is for this. So we get an increase of 2%. Um, so going from 2% to 4% for the collection power. So you can see if you have a look up here, it says 15728. If we go back out, it says 15649. So we have increased by 100 million power just by doing that. Um, yeah, really, really good uh, for me, I think, uh, personally, and getting Mastema up to that 12 stars. Uh, now, once you get a unit up to 11 and 12 stars, you should be looking at their talents uh, and getting their talents up to legendary. Now, the way that I prioritize those talents, I know it's got nothing to do with Rift Odyssey, but the way I prioritize those talents. So we'll go into uh, Royals. I'll have a look at who is above 11 stars. So if we jump into Talents, as you can see, I've got 13 star Talonas. Um, and then we keep going down and I've got all of my Royals that are over, uh, except for Victoria. Victoria is relatively new, but as you can see, we need to get her legendary talents up. Um, but whenever a legendary unit of mine gets to um, 11 stars or higher, I start to uh, invest in these legendary talents and the reason for that is because uh, increases reflect rate by 30% so if we go back and we have a look um, so he does increase the defense but here uh, it's what we're looking for his own damage reduction by 30% and every 1% in his reflect rate additionally increases attack by 2% so we do want that additional 15% 
uh, from the legendary talents, this one here, so it goes from 15% to 30%. So it's just my uh, my two cents on it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, uh, and uh, I will proceed to uh, make some more uh, content on the Rift Odyssey when it does open up over the course of the next couple of days. just want to say thank you very much for watching, uh, and I do hope you have a great day.